In 2020, it was reported that Steve Harvey purchased his current mega mansion, located in Atlanta, Georgia, for a whopping $15 million. While he and his family have lived in some lavish homes over the years, this one goes above and beyond, boasting opulent features like 17 acres of landscaped lawns, a 70,000 gallon infinity pool, an underground ballroom, and more. Steve won't be the first funny man to live here though, as the palace was formerly owned by none other than Tyler Perry, who let go of it in 2016. We'll check out Steve's homes, including this one and a couple of his former properties, so stay tuned. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Steve Harvey is best known for being a comedian turned talk show host and self-help author, but that's not all he does. He's also a familiar face on TV, hosting series such as Family Feud, Celebrity Family Feud, The Miss Universe Competition, and more. And he always brings a laughs wherever he goes. Considering he's been working consistently in the entertainment industry and he's also a savvy businessman, Harvey's amassed a net worth of about $200 million. And he loves to share his fortune with his large family. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive host tour here in Famous Entertainment. And today, we're looking at the mansions of Steve Harvey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2020, Steve shelled out $15 million for his current family mansion located in the elite Buckhead neighborhood of Atlanta, Georgia. The walls of this palace will never be short of a laugh considering it was also once home to fellow comedian and actor Tyler Perry. Not to mention, both of these stars have rags to riches stories to tell, having both lived in their cars at some point before making it big. Well, this residence just shows the world you've made it. Perry officially offloaded the opulent home in 2016 for $17.5 million after it sat on the market with a price tag of $25 million for two years. Either way, the property made real estate news as the most expensive home sale in Atlanta history. So what makes this mansion so insane? Actually, the real question is, what doesn't? First of all, it sits on a whopping 17 acres of land with manicured grounds, while inside the home covers 35,000 square feet of space. Once you get past the gates and up the hulking flight of stone stairs out front, the foyer is about as massive as they get, featuring twin curved staircases, soaring ceilings, a chandelier, columns, and polished marble floors. The mansion boasts seven bedrooms and 9.5 baths, which can be expected from a property so large. And considering Steve has seven kids, that extra space might come in handy, even though they don't all live at home anymore. Of course, the Harvey Mansion boasts multiple formal living areas, including a huge formal living room with double height ceilings and full wall of windows, and another sprawling two-level great room with wood beam ceilings, plush lounge areas, more walls of windows and French doors, and stairs to an upper level loft. One of my favorite rooms is the stylish library, which follows a bold black and red color scheme, my favorite, with zebra accents and a winding iron staircase to a gallery level. Of course, there's also an epic kitchen decked out in wood, another study with a fireplace, a games room, and a cavernous entertainment lounge, which has a medieval castle look to it. Honestly, the spaces inside this mansion are never ending. In addition to all of that, Steve's French provincial style main mansion boasts a state of the art home theater, an indoor swimming pool, a wine cellar, and an underground ballroom with catering kitchen. All of that, and we haven't even seen the grounds. Among all of the perfect lawns and trimmed gardens, out back there's a 70,000 gallon infinity edged pool and spa with water features, a lit tennis court, a fitness center, and a separate spa. The estate also has a guest house, a guard house, and additional caretaker suite, all protected with a top notch security system. And in case of an emergency, Steve's property has a backup generator that can power the entire estate. Before Steve and his family moved into this estate, they still lived in Georgia, but in the area of Sandy Springs, also in Atlanta. He purchased this home back in 2010 for $3.4 million, and he and his wife enjoyed the family mansion for a handful of years. In fact, it's said that he still owns it to this day. This mansion spans 9,258 square feet of space, and while that's massive in size, it's only a fraction of Steve's new home. 
Inside, there are six beds, eight baths, and a handful of other luxury rooms. Some features here included an upscale cigar cabinet because Steve loves his cigars, massive grill, mini golf course, and infinity pool with waterfall. It's also said that the home was full of gold trimmed velvet furniture at one point and had a movie theater and full bar too. Finally, at one point, Steve's talk show was set up in Chicago, so the Windy City was where he used to spend his time. Around 2012 to 2013, Steve lived in a penthouse on the 88th floor of the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago, Illinois, and it was quite the fancy apartment. It wasn't until 2018 that the place was sold, and when it was first listed, it was almost $10 million. Listing materials describe the unit as the most glamorous half-floor penthouse suite with panoramic views, 60 16-foot ceilings, three fireplaces, and much more. Some claim that Steve purchased the penthouse, while other sources report he was renting for a massive 25 k per month. Either way, his condo with the Trump spent 5,500 square feet of living space with three beds and 5.5 baths. The upscale, state-of-the-art kitchen had designer name appliances from Wolf to Sub-Zero and more, along with a butler's pantry, and that, in combination with the living areas, made this place ideal for entertaining. Steve's penthouse also had a luxurious master bed and bath, large walk-in closets throughout, and a separate jacuzzi room. The five-star hotel amenities residents had access to included the spa at the Trump, a 75-foot heated swimming pool, room service, state-of-the-art fitness center, and indoor parking. Not to mention, the penthouses all had perfect views of the Chicago River or the city. All right, so now we've looked at Steve Harvey's homes, including his current and new Buckhead Mega Mansion, which once belonged to Tyler Perry. Since that 35,000 square foot palace blows any other home out of the water, I'll just ask, what was your favorite room in the massive home? I think I like the medieval style entertainment room and that area of the home with the old world hallway and the matching indoor pool. Let me know your pick down in the comments. Harvey's other homes include that Sandy Springs home we looked at, also in Atlanta, and a 6,500 square foot mansion in Little Elm, Texas, which he currently has for sale at nearly $1.1 million. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Steve Harvey's homes down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity homes we should feature next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!